Thursday, September 1st, 2016. Uh, Monaco 64 here, home of alternative uh, economics and contrarian views. I like to talk about uh, war today. Uh, I've seen recently a lot of uh, stories on the internet, especially in the alternative media, uh, predicting, you know, the breakout of World War III, you know, the fact that uh, the West is provoking Russia with NATO, the United States provoking uh, China in the South China Sea. Uh, I think all of this is a distraction just with everything else uh, out there. You know, politics, Trump or Hillary, here in the UK, Brexit. Uh, what else? Even, uh, you know, uh, leadership contest for the Labour Party in the UK. Uh, all of it is a distraction, just like, you know, bread and circus, the Olympics, uh, all the, you know, talk on the radio about different subjects. Uh, there's so much distraction out there, you know, television, uh, football, cricket, you know, uh, a story in the States that someone didn't stand up for uh, the national anthem. I don't even, you know, I haven't even read too much about it. I think it's a total bogus distraction. Uh, what's it a distraction from? Well, I think the real war has been ongoing since 2008. And that was when they bailed out the financial system, i.e. the, you know, the bankers and the central banks. And the reason why I say central banks is because if the banks had gone under, the central banks would have gone under. You know, they can't work without the, uh, one, you know, one or, they're dependent on each other. And so are the politicians. They were saving themselves. You know, the pol political class, which gets its, uh, you know, uh, m funny money from the bankers and the central banks to buy votes, to keep people in welfare, to keep people dependent. They were going to be wiped out. There's even a movie I remember watching about the uh, great financial crisis. And they have uh, a, an actor playing Hank Paulson in a boardroom at the New York Fed. And he's trying to explain to these bankers, you know, that it's, it's a big thing. And he said, you know, the West is foobard. Uh, he used another word that starts with F. But basically he said the West is foobard. We've screwed up. Uh, so they started a war and what war is that? You know, it's been wa being waged right now. It's been waged since 2008, 2009. It's a war on the whole population. It's not even 99%. I, I tend, I'd argue it's 99.99% because they're just saving, you know, a few politicians out there. You know, how many politicians are there in Washington, you know? Uh, 600 or something, you know, if you add the House of Representatives and the Senate and the President, it's about, I would say 600, I'm not sure. But here in the UK as well, how many politicians are in Westminster? No, you know, not many. And then you add, you know, the number of bankers, you know, not many either. The, the you know, a few important central banks there, you know, a few big investment banks. So it's much less than 1%. So, all the distraction uh, for the sheeple, so to, so to speak, is that we have threats, you know, from ISIS, from Russia, you know, uh, racists, uh, you know, all the talk about, you know, gender equality, all this rubbish is just dividing people, keeping them, you know, the spotlight somewhere else. Um, there's a term, you know, that is called activist shareholder. And this has, you know, evolved over the last 20 years, I, you know, I think. And basically, I'm reading here from uh, Wikipedia, and it says, an, a, an activist shareholder is one using an equity stake in a corporation to put public pressure on its management. The goals of activist shareholders range from financial um, to non-financial and uh, it says the attraction of shareholder activism lies in its com comparative cheapness, a fairly small stake, less than 10%, uh, 
uh, outstanding shares may be enough to launch a successful campaign. In comparison, a full takeover bid as as much is much more costly and difficult undertaking. So yeah, where are the activist shareholders or hedge fund managers uh, out there to you know expose you know not only the central banking system but the monetary system that is completely destroying and stealing capital from you know 99.9 percent even you know rich people are gonna get uh you know screwed and they're getting screwed they think they think they're getting richer and they're not so yeah where are the activist shareholders you know where are the people uh you know out there in the city or on wall street or in frankfurt uh, aren't they gonna like campaign against this crazy central banking policy that keeps the governments afloat and the banks afloat uh you know zombie banks and zombie governments basically because the, the governments in the west are completely broke and that's why they have to keep rates at zero or negative they're basically stealing uh, not only the present you know wealth of everyone else the public but the future wealth of our children and grandchildren by you know indebting uh, the public even more so yeah uh and the reason that i'm doing this story today is that there there's an article on bloomberg.com today and it says britain's pension problem just got a hundred billion pounds worse so basically it's saying that uh uk and I quote, UK pension deficit surged by 100 billion pounds or 131 billion dollars in August as the gap between company set-asides and their obligation to retirees ballooned by more than 16% a month. And why do they do that? Well, it's because of this extremist, uh, well, criminal policy by the central banks and the governments. Why? doesn't uh the uk government the us government uh you know get up and outrage you know the political class why don't they get up and outrage and put the spotlight where it should be in the central banks well because they're part of the the game you know they they want that free money to keep coming so they can pay off you know their constituents and that's why you don't see any uh you don't read anything about the the real problem because you know i'm talking about money here not in that everyone wants money of course people want money but i'm talking about money more as a utility for a modern uh you know economy uh that we live in where indirect exchange is so uh important where everyone is specialized in doing something uh different you need uh, indirect exchange and money is this most important uh, utility even a commodity money is a commodity is the most marketable commodity uh and they're ruining this uh utility it's like they're contaminating the water uh in the system and uh, just to save themselves uh, and uh, it's like in uh, Brazil, you know, I used to live in Brazil, in the Bay of uh, Guanabara Bay, where they had the Olympics, and I, I used to sail when I was a little boy, and the water was clean, and, uh, but pro corruption, you know, and uh, through corruption, trying to enrich themselves, the, you know, officials in Brazil, you know, the political class, they allowed things to happen that nowadays you can't even go in the water, so they're doing the same thing now, you know, in the Western world, uh, they should have, you know, taken their loss in 08. The system would have collapsed. It would have been ugly, but we'd be recovering right now. But uh, as it is, uh, we are at war. I don't think we're going to get a, uh, you know, an, a physical war between countries. That's just a distraction. Can, you know... Uh, a war nowadays be, between the the west and russia and china would be a war to end all wars 
And as Einstein would, would have said, then World War IV would be fought with sticks. So I don't think they're stupid enough for that. What they're doing, and you need, people need to wake up, is distracting them from the real war, which is uh, a financial war. It's, it's more than just financial repression. This is World War III, and it's a financial war to save you know, a handful of people at the expense of billions of people. So what do you do to fight the war? You, well, you just keep uh, doing things like I do. You know, my, my uh, YouTube channel, uh, you know, I have knowledge working over 20 years in this financial system. And I know uh, what I see, you know, is wrong. Uh, not all, wrong, but also like, you know, it's screwed up. So what do we do? Well, you try to uh, protect yourself, try to get out of the system as much as possible. That's not easy. Uh, in terms of uh, pension, don't depend on it, be it a government pension or, you know, a company private pension, which are being gutted nowadays. And yeah, that, that's what I wanted to talk about. Wake up, you know, uh, Keep buying, you know, if you can, keep buying, buying, stacking, as people say it, stacking silver coins or gold coins if you've got more uh, surplus fiat money. Um, don't try not to get into debt and live uh, within your means. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's World War III. We arrived, it's been fought since 2008, 2009, so uh, we are already at war. And uh, most people don't realize. And I think all this talk of a uh, uh, nuclear war, World War III against Russia, NATO Russia, is just a distraction. So if you enjoy my analysis and my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you can also donate to my channel. I've got a few links below in the description. You can donate in Bitcoin. You can donate via PayPal or Patreon. Thanks for watching. Bye.